Welcome back to another episode of Monster Review where we take a look at tech, tech tips, and how to videos. Today we got another to move video, and here is the stash. Took about a total of two and a half weeks to get everything. Jumping straight into the box, let's see what I got. First thing we got is this night vision binoculars. I have no faith in this thing. I don't even think it's gonna work, but opening it in the box, we go over to the corner. We have a strap, a micro SD card to USB, cleaning cloth, charge cable, USB type C, and this nice carrying case. There we go. Here is the binoculars in all its night vision glory. And then of course we have an instruction manual. First impression, let's see. Well, we got a welcome sign. It is essentially a viewfinder. So it's, it's kind of like a camera. Um, yes, and it's infrared. Uh, so far, not really impressed, but then again, it is a daytime. So let's go ahead and hold on to these until it gets a little dark and then test it out when it's nighttime. Next item in the box, light bulb security camera. Always home, always watching. You know, I'm not a big fan of these Chinese security camera. However, there are use cases for them. Not exactly something you want to put inside your house, but to like watch a backyard. Yeah, no biggie, especially if no one uses backyard. And that's exactly the use case that I have. I have a backyard, nobody uses it because my neighbor lets his dog run wild and his dog just takes a dump all over our yard. We don't have any fence. This place is a rental and it is what it is. Opening the box, it's kind of beat up. We got a manual, a weird base, I guess if you want to wire it yourself. However, this does not look safe at all. And it's plastic, yeah. Put that aside. And here is the camera bulb. It is PTZ, so it swivels, goes up and down like that. It's actually really small. Hmm. And I'm gonna test it out for you guys and let you know how it operates. That we do got a micro USB back there. So no USB-C. Next item in our bag, a portable Bluetooth speaker. When I showed off my Will Norm speaker in my first video, I got a ton of comments asking about that speaker. I did do research for you guys and found out that the company no longer makes or sells the speaker. Uh, but I promised everyone that I would be on the lookout for the next best thing. Is this going to be it? I don't know. Let's see. I like the packaging. It kind of looks like an expensive speaker. We have a, a micro USB cable, 3.5 male to male, the speaker itself, and a manual in the box. Yes. Has a good weight to it. Like that. Like the weight. Here's the speaker, TNG, yeah, TNG. Does it stand up like this? Or do you hold it sideways like that? Guess we'll find out. You have the audio controls right here in the back. Uh, here we go, we got power, volume up, volume down, and mode. Let's power this puppy up and see just how well it operates. Let's see, first power up. <coughs> Wow, we got we got lights on the uh, on the buttons. My will norms don't have lights on the buttons. That's pretty cool. TF card slot, USB port, micro USB for charging, and auxiliary port. So that's cool. Next item we got is this LED light strip. Someone actually told me about this light strip. They said, I got to check it out. It's really cool. Okay, so here's the light right here. Uh, we can see that it has a motion sensor right up here. So we have the 
USB, micro USB port here. Yeah, so I think it is battery powered because I got a red light, so it looks like it's charging. Let's let that charge for a little bit and we'll come right back to it. Next item we have is... Ooh, love testing earbuds on this channel. Especially cheap earbuds because not a lot of people know that these exist. So I got my trusty Z Fold 5. Okay, straight out the packaging. This is what, ooh, the USB-C cable fell out right there. Um, and here are the earbuds. We got an instruction manual right in the box there. We have the case, charging case. It looks like this is supposed to be like an LCD screen. I don't know, we'll see. And then we have the earbuds right here. Pop one out for you. These things look like hearing aids. So charge case opens this way. Kind of like the uh, Galaxy Buds. Case is very plasticky, but that's that's to be expected. Yes, it's an LCD screen. So it's showing that the earbuds are at 84%. So it's showing that the left earbud is charging, I think. I think that's what it means. Okay, so that's left, right. All right, so put it in there and put the left one in. All right, blank something here. Some Toby Mac. Wow, that is not half bad. I'm satisfied with the bass. I'm satisfied with the treble. I'm impressed with the vocal range. These are actually very decent for the price, yeah. Never did I expect to say that. That is impressive. If I'm a person that doesn't really care for audio, I would be very happy with these. They sound very similar to some Anchor earbuds that I purchased off of uh, Amazon for like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. They sound very similar to those. And this is how it looks. The color is probably throwing you off and you're like, oh damn, that really does look like uh, like hearing aids. Uh, noise isolation is really good considering they're cheap earbuds, but yeah, noise isolation is good. Just wow, that is impressive. It looks and feels like a toy, but I'm impressed with these earbuds. They are a clear winner. They shoot up to number one out of this batch so far out of the items that I unboxed. My favorite thing. All right, going back to the box. What do we got here? We have, boom. This is so random, but it is an external CD-ROM. That's the instruction manual, USB cable, USB power cable to give it power. It's very interesting. It's very heavy. I have a few uh, external hard drive from um, Samsung and Dell, and they are not as heavy as this one. I mean, why does it also require a separate port for power and for USB? Is this a LightScribe drive or something? No, it's just a regular, a regular CD drive. But no need to worry. We'll put it to the test. Honestly, I don't know why I bought it. Uh, I'm surprised that I did buy it. All right, going back to the bag. What else we got? What else we got? Waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Package is a little ripped up, but that means that it should just come right out. There we go. We got a suction cup on the back so you can slap this on your shower door. We have a micro USB. Womp, womp, womp for uh charging nah it's all right it's all right we got some sweet rgb lights there so many bluetooth items popping up i'm just guessing oh i got it right that's it that's this speaker bts What do you expect? It's a cheap Bluetooth speaker that's waterproof. It's decent for what it is, you know? Um, definitely something I would use for like a podcast or something, not necessarily for music. I mean, you can if you don't really care for high quality music, but for podcasts, for news, stuff like that, this is, this is, a, this is a winner, I think, in my book. And don't forget, I'm going to test these products thoroughly so that is going to go in my shower and i am going to use it to be blasting music for two weeks straight 
and then reporting back on how well it operated. We have no idea what this is. It's standard white packaging. Oh, that was, that's what it is. Um, it's a RGB light strip. Wow. That's all I get? Why did I even buy this? So weird. What am I supposed to do with this? I can't do anything with this. I should have read the fine print. My bad. I mean, it's, it's not it's not enough strip to do anything with it. Maybe a, like a decorated PC, like a gaming red that you have. Um, ooh, our resident gamer. I know exactly who to give this to. Uh, let's just pop it into a USB port. There it is, it's working. Some kind of Christmas lights. Of course, you know, you have the remote right here to control it, uh, but that's that. Honestly, if each individual light only supports one color, right? So it's not a 50-50 LED diode. Not everything is a clear winner. Out of all of my Tamu videos, there's always one thing to disappoint. Um, this would be it. Bam! Charge cables! You, this is for iPhone. Look at that. This is long. It's colorful. You cannot lose this. You cannot lose this. I'm talking to my kids. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my kids. They must have gone through 50 lightning cables with their iPads. From now on, they're getting lightning cables from Timu. That's it. I'm not buying them expensive Apple lightning cables anymore. This is just what they're going to have to use. Does it work? It's definitely long. I got my iPhone right here. I'm going to plug it in. It says unlock to use accessory. We got the charge icon. Yes. It, so it works. It works. All right. So next item we have is bam. Another charging. Oh, man. This is supposed to be like an aftermarket Apple USB-C power uh, brick. USB-C to lightning cable. Okay, yeah, so this is not a quick charger. It's just a USB-C power brick. Um, but it comes with a lightning to USB-C cable. So not bad, not bad. Like I said, this is also for the kids. Um, they do not need fast charging so it's a win in my book all right what else we got here we have the vintage t9 trimmer this is another item that was recommended to me we got some trimming heads right here so this is essentially a beer trimmer got a comb brush here to clean the trimmer and then the trimmer right here it's got a nice weight to it plasticky feel but hard plastic Nice weight to it, looks pretty dope. Power buttons right here. We turn it on. Oh, nice. Wow, yeah, that's, I like it. We have the smartwatch. That's all it's called, a smartwatch. It's a blue colored smartwatch. Ah. Whether it's dope or not, it's going to my son, so he's gonna be excited. So this is the charge cable for the watch. And here is the watch itself. There we go. It's got this crown, just like the Apple Watch. Let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time. There we go. Ooh, it, wow. It has a very strong vibration motor. That almost feels close to Apple's tap haptic engine. So swipe down. Okay, swipe right. Messages, whatnot. There's the steps on the bottom. I have to play around with this watch some more, but I'm impressed. I am impressed. The, the screen is actually really clear. The look and the feel is very similar to an Apple Watch, although when you see that screen, you're like, nah. That's not an Apple Watch. Yeah, the screen is very responsive. This is going to be up there with the earbud. This is a cool product. Another win for Timu. I'll test this on both an Android device and a Apple device and report back in two weeks. We are down to our last Timu item. Here we go. All good things come to an end. So, oh wait. 
Sorry, there's two items. So we have this Roku jacket to protect a Roku controller. Why would you need to protect a Roku controller? Let me show you why. If you don't protect your Roku controller and it drops enough times, this is what happens to it. And this is not a cheap Roku remote that came with my Roku TV. No, this is a $50 add-on accessory that I purchased apart from my TV. And look at it. That is why you need a Roku jacket. It is high quality. It's silicone. I think this is like a glow in the dark color, but yeah. I can't test it with this Roku remote, but when I buy a new one, I'm certainly going to put this on. Now we are down to the last item. All good things come to an end. And here it is, the product you all been waiting for, the LED mini magic ball. Charge cable, micro USB, surprise, surprise. And then here is the projector. Okay, so this is just plastic. <laughs> it's plastic and that's all it's like on a rotating kind of table thing. Is it battery powered? Do we have like any charge or anything like that? Nope. No power button. Yeah, there's no power button. You just plug this in to uh, turn it on and it works. Unfortunately, the cord is a little too short, but Obviously, I'm going to set this up in a room, a dark room, and show you guys how it works. But anyway, that's the uh, initial unboxing of all the Timu products that I bought, like I always do. Let's test it out for two weeks and see how well they hold up. See you in two weeks. Two weeks later, and I spent enough time with each and every one of these products Thoroughly testing it out for you. Here is my verdict. Now I'm going to lay out all this stuff from favorite to least favorite or recommended to not recommended. The first item on my list is none other than the smartwatch. This smartwatch was $13.98 and I have to admit this watch is worth every single cent. It's just that good. It doesn't matter if you have an Android or an iOS device, you can take phone calls using this watch. The only thing you can't do is send text messages, but you can see the text messages on your watch when they come through to you. You just can't reply, uh, but it's still a really cool watch. Like I was not expecting to have a conversation with someone using this watch and it sounded great too. Here's a sample of that. Okay, so this is how the speaker sounds on the watch. You can hear my voice very clearly. There's no issues whatsoever. I come in loud and clear. I was very impressed with how the speaker, how, how loud and clear uh, it is. And this is how well the mic picks up my voice using the watch. And you can also hear that it picks up my voice very clearly. You can hear me with no issues. The phone I am using for this test is the Z Fold 5. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with both the speaker on the watch and the mic on the watch. So apart from that really cool feature of being able to use this watch as a Bluetooth headset, you can also use it to monitor your heart rate. You can use it to monitor your blood oxygen levels and you can also use it to monitor your blood pressure. Yes, your blood pressure. This feature was introduced on the Galaxy Watch 4. Uh, unfortunately, due to regulations, it wasn't unlocked in the US, but it was elsewhere. But I did find a hack to get it on my Galaxy Watch 4, and I used it for about three weeks. It was really cool. It was very time consuming because you did have to calibrate the sensor about every two weeks or every week and a half. There's no calibration with this at all. So I did test it against a real blood pressure monitor just to see how accurate the readings were. And they are not really close in numbers. You can see the numbers for yourself. In this photo here, I was getting about 121 
on my blood pressure monitor. On the watch, I was getting 109. That is a huge difference. So that tells us that this watch is not something you want to use to monitor your blood pressure. But if you take away that feature and look at everything else, for what you get for $13, it's quite a lot. That's why it's my number one recommended product from this batch. Second favorite product is none other than this earbud, which was at $7.98. This earbud is amazing. And for the price, you do get a big bang for your buck. Because if you compare this with the first cheap earbuds that I bought in my first Timu video, they blow these out of the waters. These Lenovo's, I thought these sounded good, but when compared to these extreme earbuds, these blow these out of the water. These actually suck compared to these, and they're the same exact price, same build quality. Multiple people put them on and tested them out. They were very impressed with how they sound when I told them that I only pay $7, about $8 for these earbuds. These are cheap earbuds, so they do come with downfalls. You don't wanna wear these outdoors and use it for like jogging outside because as soon as you step outside your home and you try listening to music on your phone, there's a lot of in and out going on because it constantly loses connection with your phone. It's so weird because as soon as you come into your house, that issue goes away and it doesn't matter how far away your phone is, as long as it's within 30 feet of the earbuds, you have a solid connection. But I mean, if I'm going outside and I got the earbuds on and I got my phone like literally right here, the earbuds just keep going in and out. There's a lot of radio interference going on outdoors, so it makes sense why these things do not work well. But apart from that small little annoyance, this thing is excellent. The battery life, I get about three and a half hours of continuous use with the earbuds before they die. Pop them in the charge case and you know, you're good to go for another three hours. Uh, this charge case is good to charge the earbuds at least three times before you have to put the charge case to charge. Uh, so those are actually really great numbers, despite being a earbud that costs less than 10 bucks. Also on the earbuds is this clickable button right here. I'll put it next to the mic. <laughs> so although it's a small button, it has a very strong clicky feel to it. And at first I didn't like it, but after using it, you know, I was like, wow, this is actually better than those touch sensitive pads. Push the right or left side once to pause your music, uh, push it twice on the right side to raise the volume, push it uh, twice on the left side to lower the volume, push it three times on the right side to go to the next track, push it three times on the left side to go to the previous track. So, I mean, all the functionalities are there and it is actually a lot more easier to just, uh, you know, use that button to control your music than let's say with, uh, you know, these right here. I don't know what it is. I, I'm still struggling to understand the touchpad and the controls. The buttons, I don't know, it feels like second nature to me. Now, are they gonna sound as good as like the Pixel Buds or the Galaxy Buds? No, and absolutely not. You want quality, you are gonna have to pay for it. But I mean, just think about it. These are, uh, right now, they're like, you could pick them up for like 100, between 100 to like 120. <laughs> These, you can pick up for $8. $8, $100, come on. <laughs> but really good earbuds, I highly recommend them. My third favorite product is this night vision binoculars that I picked up for $33.98. These binoculars have blown my mind, especially when I was using it to see outdoor in pitch darkness. Blown away with how well I was able to see. I was not expecting that. It, it lives up to its name, right? You can absolutely see in the dark. I'm able to see the tree line in the backyard that's roughly about 50 feet away from me with no issues. You can take videos, you can take photos. Just take a look at these videos here, these video samples. I matched the settings on my camera to mimic exactly what I was seeing with my naked eye. It's unprocessed and DaVinci Resolve. You know, I didn't touch it or anything like that. Now this is the night vision binoculars that I picked up from Timu. 
Look at it. This is amazing. This is this is awesome. And this thing ha does have a micro SD card slot so you can take photos and you can take videos. It's definitely an awesome tool that I will be adding to my toolbox. My third highly recommended product from Timu. Pick it up. Uh, even if you don't want to pick it up for yourself, pick it up for a kid because my kids have a blast with this and I'm pretty sure yours will too. All right, so the fourth recommended product that I have, waterproof Bluetooth speaker. This was only $2.04. Honestly, you can't get mad at how it sounds. It sounds like garbage. Yeah, it's not the best speaker in the world, but the fact that you can play tunes in the shower it is pretty cool. I've taken my shower head and just splashed the heck out of these speakers just to test how durable it is, how weather sealed it is. And it is in fact very well built in terms of being waterproof. Obviously, if I, if I drop this, it's going to break. I have no doubt it's going to break. It's very light, very plasticky feel. But in terms of being waterproof, it does exactly what it claims to be. And that's a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. And for $2, come on, you can't go wrong. You can buy a bunch of these and put them up in every shower you have. The only complaint I really have about these speakers is that when you turn it on and it connects to your phone, and you hit this play button, for whatever reason, it doesn't work. It never plays or pause my music. I have to launch it on the phone first before I can actually use the play and pause button. But it's got RGBs, it's waterproof, it sounds decently enough. Hey, it's a win for $2. All right, so the fifth product I have, this is not exactly one I recommend. If you know your cables, I think it would be a great addition for you. And that is these colorful cables. They were $5.98. They are very long and uh, they're lightning cables, right? And uh, apart from being able to charge your Apple devices, they also have the ability to transfer data. You can't trust every single charge cable out there. Uh, so because of that, um, if you know what you're doing, go ahead and purchase it. I think it's a decent uh, price for what you get. Although I don't recommend it, I like it. <laughs> If that makes sense. Now the two piece uh, cable and brick that I picked up for $5.98. I don't recommend it. Uh, this USB-C to lightning cable is not a data cable. That's number one. And uh, number two, this isn't really a fast charger, although it looks like a fast charger. I think they deliberately designed it that way to make you think it's a fast charger. But of course, if you read the fine print, on the Timu listing and read right here. It is not a fast charger by any means. It's just a normal slow charger, but for $5.98, that's a little pricey. So I don't recommend these. Another item I highly recommend is this jacket for my Roku remote. This thing is actually really good and it's exactly what I needed. It's high quality. It feels really nice in your hands and it only costs a dollar and 78 cents. And if you're wondering if it really does protect your remote, well, let's find out. There you go, threw it against the wall and the remote is still intact. There's no damage on the remote itself because the case took the brunt of the attack. So I, I say it's, uh, it's well worth your $2. I am on the fence with this product. I mean, it was only $4, uh, but when I actually started using it to trim my beard, I realized not exactly real sharp and it is very slow to cut my uh, beard. So forget the combs. If you're gonna use the combs to like, you know, shape up your beard, it might work for you, but it is very, very slow. It's, it's nothing like the Philips Norelco. Those are my favorite beard trimmer. And, uh, you know, they do the job and they do the job well. And I've been using them for years. So when comparing this $4 beer trimmer to those, like it's like night and day. I mean, it's not, I'm not saying that this $4 beer trimmer is bad. It is good. Like, uh, I like the fact that, um, I can just use it with no comb and I can use it to clean up my beard because it's so slow to cut. I'm less likely to make a mistake and take off too much here. So in that regard, it did actually do really well. And I was able to shape up my beard for a wedding very nicely uh, by just using it like, you know, to comb down my beard. Uh, but if you're going to buy this to use it to shape up someone's haircut, like their hairline and stuff, <laughs> I, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it will pull your hair, uh, but you know, for $4, you can test it out and see if it will work for you. For me, uh, it works for cleaning up my beard without a comb. 
which is what I like to do for some reason. I don't like using combs. I just like using the beer blades to kind of like eyeball it. So it's slow, you know, it took me about 10 minutes to shape it up. But uh, when I was done, um, I was actually very happy with the results. So uh, this product would probably be a maybe because it's cheap, you know, it's only $4. Yeah, this is a maybe. And there you have it. I do not recommend these TNG speakers before buying the TNG speaker. I mean, why not just go to five and below and pick up these for cheaper and uh, they sound slightly better, right? The next item that I have that I do not recommend is this LED light bar. This thing is a great idea. You know, it, it ticks a lot of boxes, but the only problem is the battery light. Put it on and even though it's only supposed to come on when it detects motion, having this thing come on for about three or four times a day is enough to kill it out within two days. Battery life is not great. You're gonna be pulling this off to charge it a lot more than you think. And remember, these numbers are based off of the product right out of the box. What do you think is gonna happen when the battery degrades? <laughs> There's not gonna be any charge left to hold. You're gonna have to be pulling it off and charging it probably every hour. And so for $5.61, I don't recommend it. Next item on our list that I'm kind of iffy about is this projector star thing light whatever you know reminds me of that that turtle back in the day that a lot of people were buying their kids you know you turn it on and it casts some stars on the ceiling uh this is a great alternative you know it's only five dollars so it's a lot cheaper than that turtle was plug it into a usb power and it works there's no batteries to replace it circles around and creates this nice star effect on your ceiling if you don't mind paying the four dollars and 28 cents for it um, because you absolutely want stars on your ceiling. Uh, I think it could do you some good. If you're not really into that kind of thing, save your $4.28. Is this LED bag baggy that I picked up for $3.78? Um, one meter of light. Comes with a remote and everything. Um, so I, if you need just a remote or the pieces for the LED and not the LED strip itself, I think it's a great price. You're not gonna get it any cheaper than that if you need the led uh this is not something that i would recommend just get a decent led kit from like amazon maybe from govi you'll be much happier with that than you would be with this and the last item i do not recommend is this light bulb camera this thing sucks it's terrible you can use it yes just to live stream but there's no local recording and there is cloud storage, but you have to pay monthly for it. <laughs> I'm not going to pay this uh, Chinese company monthly for their cloud storage. No, thank you. If you're going to spend $13 on this, you might as well put in the extra money and just get a Wise Cam. You know, the cheapest Wise Cam they have. If you need outdoor capabilities, the Wise Outdoor version 3, I think they call it. Uh, that would be a far better option than this cheap. Thing here the app is cumbersome to use it constantly freezes even if you're doing live feed and you're, you're trying to control this PTZ camera it just lags and it's jumpy all over the place if you need PTZ wise also has you covered in that arena too because they have for just 30 bucks I think or 25 you can get an outdoor PTZ camera that is actually very fluid I have one myself the live stream is fluid, it does local recording, and the controls for the PTZ is fluid. That's exactly what you need when you're getting a camera for outdoor security. This thing, you're going to get more frustrated than anything else, and uh, you're going to just want to throw it away. So just skip it, save the $13, and don't buy it. And there you go. That's everything I purchased this round on Timu. 
Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me thumbs up. And if you like videos like these, subscribe for the next video. My name is Z. Hasta luego, muchachos.